Howdy! Here we are in the paint booth. Uh, let's see if I can play this in. Howdy! So here we are in the paint booth uh, in Utah here. It's a little windy, so my plastic is blowing all over the place. Uh, but going to try and paint anyway. If need be, I will close the garage. I was hoping to not do that because I don't really want to blow a bunch of paint shit all over the garage. Anyway, here's the attempts at painting this car and making it look presentable. Wish me luck! I apologize if I can't. Primer's done. Uh, let's take a quick look-see. Hooray. Uh, so next up is color. Let's get to it.
So, as of the recording of this video, I have not, I had not found out yet that the camera died while I was uh, painting. Apparently the camera's battery doesn't last very long when it's in the uh, airtight enclosure. It gets hot, battery goes... So, you'll get to watch me now. Uh, take this down and then you'll get to see the results and then I'll give a quick once over. It's the best paint job I've ever done, but I've only this is the second time I've painted, so it's not a great paint job by any stretch. But I feel it's doable. It will work for this car, um, and I feel it looks better. So anyway, uh, let's get to it. So, here's where we're at. Um, if you look close, which you can. Yeah, things got on the surface even though I'd wiped everything down. But, I'm overall not too butt hurt by it. Uh, these two pieces will not look very good because they didn't look good before. As you can see, like there. I personally like the hood. I took down a lot further than I wanted. And I left a lot of things. You can tell. They wanted this car drivable. And, you know, okay looking type of thing. Um, I feel the hood needs to be replaced. You can't tell from this lighting, but it's been hit here. I think there's a crease or a little cut over there from damage. Well, you may not be able to tell from this, but this hood, I personally feel, just needs to be replaced. Just like the fenders. But with the car being a black, uh, satin black, so not I should have went flat, but I didn't. Overall, looks good I feel I feel it looks a lot better than what it did and for how much I said I would take for this job the whole car <laughs> this isn't too bad I learned a lot though I am not like I learned a bit gun prices like the tips are a little outrageous in regards to when you buy a gun also well let's go back here so yeah what I learned um, I got a little better at tuning the gun or adjusting the settings actually learning what those adjustments were because uh, when I painted my Corolla <laughs> I think I randomly twisted some knobs and just went with it. I did not have a pressure gauge on the gun. I did not have a filter. Oh wait, no, I did have a filter on the gun, but no pressure gauge. And if I recall the air compressor I had, I just adjusted that for like 30, 25, and then learned way later and why my paint sucked is that that pressure drops when you pull that trigger. So that was throwing off what I was expecting versus what I was doing. Um, so I tweaked the gun this time, actually adjusted it, and I didn't get a single run. So this, this car would look great if one, I was better at bodywork and did thorough bodywork. I don't have OCD issues, I'm very impatient, so I just tend to do and be like, that's good enough. So the paint, which is, uh, 
Speed Coat, Hot Rod Black, whatever, bought it on Amazon. It's a 2K urethane. It laid down phenomenal for what I was trying to adjust with and figure out. I don't believe I got a single run. Um, the primer, which I bought locally, was a, I think it was a urethane primer, whatever. Uh, high build, I did two coats of the primer, two coats of the paint, and not a single run. It went gloriously. I could have probably tried to adjust the gun to lay down a little more paint, but I digress. Overall, um, the purpose of me painting this car was a success. I learned a bit. I can still improve, but for now, this will do. Um, so in the next video, we'll be assembling crap. Putting on rubber gaskets. That will probably be multi-part video because I've got rubber windows. I still have to paint the rims black. Um, some other trim pieces, blah, whole bunch of stuff. Anyway, if you found this even remotely entertaining, uh, feel free to give a like and subscribe. Uh, and have a good day. Bye-bye.